Jim, we usually think of listening in the context of listening to others, but does listening also mean listening to ourselves and to spirit? Well, that's the, really the important part about discernment, whether to speak or not, or whether this is something that's significant for me, self-reflection, some area of my life that I need to change. You know, the inward teacher has, has just taught me something versus something that really needs to be shared with others. I think um, a lot of the things in faith and practice are about vocal ministry and when to speak and when not to speak. So the focus has been, you know, about the vocal ministry. And I think the, the listening is, is very important and kind of neglected part of uh, the meeting for worship. It's that supportive listening. Um, Patty Levering calls it blessed listening. It's a very special kind of listening. You know, therapists give 100% attention and they don't judge and they accept the person in that moment. And that's a very liberating thing. And what we might as, as members or tenders at a quicker meeting is even go farther than that. Um, listen with great compassion, hold the person in the light, not just tolerate that this, this person needs to talk about this, but this brother, this sister has this thing going on and how can we respond to it um, with mercy? How can we refrain from judging, how can we respond to them in a wholehearted way? And we can do that with heartfelt listening. Hello, I'm Jim Sipley from Downingtown Friends Meeting, Worship and Ministry. And on Sunday the 15th, I'll be offering a brown bag discussion about the practice of listening with heart. It's a spiritual practice that creates wonderful connectedness and feeling of unity. Listening is something that's important, but this is listening in a very special and deep way. It'll be at the Rise of Meeting, 12 noon on Sunday the 15th. Please join us.